Well, this winter season has been a challenge for everyone, pedestrians, motorists, and plow operators. So far, we've had 16 full plow events. Typically, we average around 12, so we're exceeding that already. We've got snow totals of over 50 inches already. A typical winter has just over 50 inches. So on top of that, we've had nearly two inches of rain in December and three inches of rain in, in January. So it's been uh, a burden on everybody. Bloomington plows 270 miles of sidewalks every time it snows. And we do this through a series of priorities, starting with the areas around schools where students walk, other uh, high traffic areas, anywhere where we know there's people that are mobility challenged, we try and get to those first. After that, we spread out into roads that are busy or have more traffic, and then finally into the neighborhoods. Plowing sidewalks is a, is a process, taking up to two or three days. In general, we wait a couple hours till after the uh, street trucks leave and begin doing their main arterials before we head out on sidewalks. This gives them a chance to get ahead of us in clearing the main areas, and we can get in and plow the sidewalks behind them. Often we have to go back and rerun things that are messed up either through large vehicles like buses or garbage trucks turning corners and knocking banks into the sidewalks making the, the curb cuts hard to navigate or uh, snow plowing operations that could be MnDOT plowing operations or Hennepin County or our own city forces. A lot of our sidewalks are really close to the roads and they're impacted by the snow throw that comes off the plows causing us to go out and replow. Bloomington has 11 routes and 10 of these machines. So each route is about 25 miles. Now these machines are, are heavily built. They're uh, really powerful, but they lack suspension. So the rough ride causes a lot of operator fatigue. Another thing that is a struggle for the operators are sudden stops. And even if they're going two or three or four miles an hour, that sudden stop causes them to be thrown forward into the seat belt and it's unexpected and, and can cause injury. To help reduce the potential for those sudden stops, um, we've done a couple modifications to the machine. Around here there's a gauge wheel that we use to set the blower height to keep that cutting edge just a little bit off the pavement. It keeps us from scraping the surfaces close enough that if there was an imperfection, it's gonna cause this machine to stop. The other thing we do is we go through and inspect our sidewalks annually, look for high spots, kicks, different metal structures or access openings uh, that are in the sidewalk that may have been raised up. So we look for those and address them in the fall or late summer, but things can happen when winter occurs and there's freeze and thaw. So we're always on the lookout for those. Another improvement that we've done to some of our machines is we've begun trying out different GPS guidance systems. These serve a couple of purposes. One is we will have the ability to mark any of these hazards that are under the snow and give the operator a heads up as to where they are and if they're approaching one. The other one is often, depending on the snowfall, it can cover the sidewalk and the surrounding area in a blanket that gives no visual indication or guidance for the operators. These GPS units will, within an inch, tell the operator where the machine is within relation to the sidewalk. So this will help reduce operator fatigue and keep them from having to guess where the sidewalk is in some cases, and certainly cut down on the sod damage that happens when the machines get off the sidewalk. If you see an area that needs to be replowed or are struggling to navigate them, please give our maintenance division a call and we'll come out and address the situation as best we can.